Hello, my beautiful YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, is going to be a blind buy haul. I have added quite a few to my collection within the past month, but the six that we're talking about today are going to be the blind buys of the bunch. And I don't think I've ever had... Um, so much success with blind buys as I did last month. So that is what we're diving into today. If you are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on. And you know what, without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. Okay, you guys, so I had been on the hunt, the search, for an Armani C fragrance that I absolutely loved. I thought the original one was nice, but I didn't love it. I blind bought uh, C La Parfum, which has been discontinued, but I liked it. It was a super deep, dark uh, black currant. I liked it, I wasn't in love with it. I'm considering decluttering it, but it's still here. It's still with us in the collection. But y'all, I finally, finally found a C that I love. And this one too has been discontinued. So you know what? <laughs> now that I already have C Fiore into my life, I'm already on, I'm going to get a backup bottle, a big one, because this scent is everything that y'all hyped it up to be. I got to give it to y'all because sometimes <laughs> the designer fragrances are just, I'm not wowed by them, but I love this one. This is so beautiful. Um, for me, I think it's just, let me spray it. It's so sweet. It's this sparkling quality to it. It's almost cotton candy-like, champagne-like, <laughs> but it's powdery and that is what is just doing it. I love a powdery fragrance. To me, that doesn't age a fragrance. Um, for some it does, but for me, I just it makes me feel super feminine that is what that's what this perfume is giving me C Fiore is the best one that I've smelled out of the bunch let me know in the comments below do you have it what are your thoughts because I've seen quite a few people say that this one is like the best one and I have to agree it is stunning I'm getting like such a vanilla vibe from this and, and that's probably why it's so like ugh, just wonderful to me it's got a little citrus it's very fruity um you know it's just you just if you if you are looking for something that is powdery vanilla fruity floral that you really could wear all year round like i said something signature scent worthy this is definitely the one to to try like i said i don't why would they discontinue this? I don't know. Like I would take this one over the original any day. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Just get your nose on it, get your hands on it. Um, and I think this is definitely one of those, if you like sweet, if you like your fluty floral, um, a little powdery, this is blind by worthy in my opinion. So success much with this particular blind buy. All right, so next up on the list is going to be a Tiziana Terenzi. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but this is, ooh, ooh child, this light is too bright for any white bottle, but this is going to be Cassiopeia. This has got to be the sweetest fragrance in my collection. And y'all know how I love it sweet. <laughs> Listen, for all my toothache, sugary, candy, sweet, perfume, fruity floral lovers, you got to try this one. This one, I'm obsessed. When I say I was obsessed, the very first time I smelled it. Cassiopeia is very Tiziana Terenzi, but I feel like the one, the, some of the fruity florals can get very scratchy, um, super like a very distinct musk is what you're getting with a lot of the fruity florals in Tiziana Terenzi. And I feel like the musk in this one is just a little bit dialed down compared to like a Tibet or a Draco out of my collection. This is so, this is like can, hard candy. This is what you're going to smell like. 
but like any other Tiziana Terenzi, you're going to smell like opulent. This is an opulent candy scent. You're always going to get like just a rich vibe. Um, of course, Tiziana Terenzi, these are all X-Trade. So X-Trade to perform, you're getting the full, okay, oil concentration. So it's going to last. Um, I don't feel like it's as beast mode and long lasting as like a Tibet, but I feel like a lot of a lot of them in the white bottles are um, just a little underperforming like the ones in the gold bottles, but still stellar performance. Anything from that house is gonna be a stellar performer. I would say after about eight hours, you're gonna have to reapply, but it's still gonna be on the skin and you know giving you some projection even after that point. But this is so delicious. Like this is a fruity floral, but this is gourmand to me. Orsa, also another very sweet fruity floral in that house, but this is full on candy, edible gourmand. Like I want to eat my arm off when I have this fragrance on. Absolutely delicious, divine, sweet, beautiful, beautiful, sweet scent. Um, let me read you the notes. Top notes are passion fruit, cassis, lemon, and fern. Middle notes are carnation, tea rose, lily of the valley, and lily of the valley is just, I love lily anything in a fragrance. And like most Ter Tiziana Terenzi's, everything is so well blended. It is so hard to pick out like singular notes. Like, okay, it's telling me passion fruit, but I just get an abundance of fruits. Like you cannot tell what is what with their fragrances because everything is super, super well blended. Um, in the base, you've got tonka bean, sandalwood, and musk. But like I said, I feel like the musk is dialed down a little bit compared to some of their other uh, fruity florals. I feel like this is a stunning, stunning fragrance. And I am going to be wearing this out in spring and summer. If you have a man or a woman, honey, that loves a sweet fragrance on you, they're going, okay, they're going to want to gobble you up. Like, this is so, so stunning. And again, get your nose on it, okay? This, the white bottles retail for a lot less than a lot of the other ones in that house. So get your coins together, get you a Cassiopeia because I am loving this fragrance. And again, we got another successful check mark in the blind buy category for this one. All right, you guys, so the next one on this list is another gourmandish. I guess you could say this is gourmand. This is New York Nights, and this is my first Bond number nine. The last blind buy video, I had um, another Bond that did not make the cut, and that was Greenwich Village. I don't know what was going on with that scent. Everyone loves that, but when I tell y'all, I was getting... Z it was negative praline. Like there was nothing sweet about that fragrance on my skin. And I don't know for the life of me, what the heck, why? I gave it a couple wears and it was just not for me. So that one had to go back. But this one, <laughs> New York Nights is so, so stunning. Let me tell you this right now. If I could give you a mind set of like what this reminds me of. If you Lang and Gold, okay, had an entanglement with Killian's Black Phantom, this would be their love child. This is so delicious. I mean, oh my God. It is, if you love a sweet gourmand, if you love, just get your nose on it, okay? That's all I have to say. This is stunning. This is, it's got like this banana vibe to it. And I don't know where that is coming from looking at the notes. It can't be from Carnation. There's no Ylang in here. And I was actually about to purchase a full bottle of Ylang and Gold, but I don't know if I need it now because I get such a vibe of Ylang and Gold in here, but it is gourmand. So you've got coffee added to the mix. I think you've got some chocolate in here. And let me spray it, let me spray it. You got some coffee. 
Mm. It's blended so beautifully. It is very, very syrupy sweet, sweeter than your laying in my opinion, but there's a complexity to this that I absolutely enjoy. It's like you're getting almost like fruity vibes and you're getting these chocolatey coffee, almost boozy vibes and you're getting these this floral, these floral nuances to it. And it's just a really, really beautifully done, sweet gourmand. So the notes in this one are gardenia, jasmine, and carnation in the top notes. And you, you feel their florals in here, but you can't pick them out. You really can't. And when you get to the middle, they have patchouli, flowers, sandalwood, and sea notes. And I feel like this flowers note, there's gotta be some laying in there. It has to be. Or banana flower or something because you're getting, like I said, this very delicious, slightly little like banana quality to it. And I don't know what that could be from. You've got caramel and coffee. So you don't have chocolate in here, I, I misspoke. It's saying caramel and coffee. So yeah, so I feel like the caramel coffee component to it is just very reminiscent of Killian's Black Phantom. If you found Killian's Black Phantom to be too masculine for you, this is an ultra feminine like take on something similar to that. So if you were on the fence about that one, but you want something in that same vibe, definitely try New York Nights because it is everything, okay? This one, I wanna wear on a date. This one, y'all, I wore this to work. I don't care, I wear whatever I wanna wear to work, but I was going to say that I felt like after about four or five hours, I couldn't smell it on me and I oversprayed. So I'm, I was wondering, dang, is the performance, you know, not really that great on this? I don't know, but you got, ooh. but you guys, I went to pick up my food for dinner. So this is at the very end of my ship. This is 12 hours after I sprayed this on. I walked up to the, the counter, gave the lady my car, and she her eyes rolled back in her head. And she was just like, oh my God, you smell so good. This is through her mask now. So bond number nine is still projecting well after the 12 hour mark. I mean, you, you don't, you may not smell it on you, but trust me, it is projecting. If you spray your clothes, it's going to give you a long wear. If you don't smell it, I'm telling you other people smell it on you. So stellar performer, stellar, you know, uh, smell. <laughs> and I am absolutely obsessed and yes, successful blind buy purchase. All right, so the next one I've spoke about a couple times on the channel already, but as soon as I got it, I had to like talk about it on, you know, the channel because it was absolutely beautiful. This is Tobacco Rose by the House of BDK. You guys, this is lemon. This is rose. This is a little bit of like cocoa mixed in there. And it is tobacco. And when I tell you it is so, so good. I blind bought this, but I wouldn't suggest that you blind buy it because of the lemon. The lemon is really making this a unique take on a rose to me. But if you typically like a rose tobacco combo, definitely try it out. Um, you should definitely be able to get samples like from a scent split or um, Lucky Scent, somewhere like that. But it is so beautiful. And when I say beast, this is a beast. I wore this all day, okay? It was like, I came home ready to change up my scent and I had layered it with the Acro Dark. When I tell y'all, chop extra PM scent for who, for where? Because this thing was so still, so loud and projecting. There's no way that I could have just threw something on top of that and expected for this to not interfere with the scent of the new perfume. So I literally had to wear that scent all day and all night because it was so beast mode. It's almost like you spray Ooh Bouquet, honey, you're stuck with her all day. Unless you shower and start over. Uh, Passion Delamore, you're stuck. Like this is a scent where if you if you doused yourself in this, 
you're going to have to put up with her like all day until you have a shower. And I think this is, out of all of the BDKs that I've smelled, this is my favorite one so far. Um, Brie Charnel did not work for me. It's just something about the fig, the spice. I just can't get with it. I know y'all love it, but to back rolls me all day. I am absolutely obsessed and a blind buy success for me. All right, you guys. So the next one on this list is going to be Healy by Widian. This scent is absolutely gorgeous. This is the sweetest, creamiest, most opulent, luxurious tuberose I have put my nose on. I'm finding that I like tuberose, but when it's a sweet tuberose with a little spice in it, I love it. I mean, Leontre Rouge was, hello. I mean, it's sweet, it's spicy. Same here, but this is very different. So this is going to be more of like your summer beach type sweet tuberose because it's got, I think like a ylang and jasmine together, which I love that combination in a perfume. This is very sweet. It has a lot of coconut. And when I tell you the coconut in here is so like, oh, uh, it's so sweet and creamy and milky, it's like the coconut milk almost. It's, it's not like a coconut water type of vibe. It is a very thick, creamy, it's so good. This is such a beautiful fragrance, but the thing about it is spicy. The pink pepper, you've got to be like a fan of pink pepper because it's stronger in the opening and it dies down, but it's still gonna dry down to you know, somewhat of a spicy tuberose scent, but this is so, so, so good. I am in love and, do they make a bigger size? Because if they do, I need, this is 1.6 ounces. I need 3.4 of this. There are not many in my collection where I feel like I need a big bottle because I'm getting so many bottles. But I would love to have a 3.4 ounce of this because it was a love at first sniff. I feel like Widian doesn't get, you know, a lot of um, hype, but it is absolutely a house that deserves some attention because this one is absolutely gorgeous. And again, that is Healy by All Widian. right, the last one on this list, this is another gourmand. I spoke about this one in my gourmand videos, and this is Whiff of Waffle Cone by Imaginary Authors. Such a beautiful take on vanilla um, to me. I never smelled this one before I got it. I got it as a Christmas gift from my daughter, but to me, this is everything I thought it would be and maybe a little bit more. Very sweet, vanillic. I feel like caramel, the salted caramel really comes through and it adds such a unique quality. It's very creamy and it's got the note of ice cream shop. So you're getting a vibe like you're literally walking into a Cold Stone Creamery and you're getting hit with that smell of, you know, the waffle cone bowls baking fresh. So beautiful. And I feel like the spices, you know, the cinnamon, add a little bit of depth to it. And it's very sweet, but if you love it sweet, you love it gourmand, you've got to give this one a try. It's very different, almost kitsch, you know, but I just, I'm absolutely, in love with this. And again, that is Whiff of Waffle Cone by American Navy Authors and absolutely an, a hit for me in the blind by book. So that's our video for today, you guys. Every single one of these, I am in love with these. None of these are likes for me. Each and every one of these we've talked about today are blind by loves. I want them to be in my collection for a long time coming. I don't see myself getting tired of these scents anytime soon. And I highly doubt if you will see them declutter because I'm obsessed. They're all sweet. Um, I feel like they're all quite unique and I highly recommend them all. I wouldn't say blind by them all, but I did. And for me, they were all successes, all right? So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on and give the video a big thumbs up. 
as it helps my channel to grow. You guys, let me know three blind buys that you've recently purchased or some you're considering in the comments below. That is everything and I will catch you on the next one.